right, so um, we were previously at Silver City. We were looking for a campsite, and the one we initially found, uh, turns out it was just a massive wind tunnel. It was, it was calm at the time that we set everything up, or nearly everything up, and then all of a sudden the one wind just came in and it took Asta's tent and ripped it out of the ground and, and it started tumbling away. We had to chase after it and ours was blowing away uh, as well. It was it was not a good spot as far as the wind goes. It was a really pretty spot. It had some cool rocks, but um, so we ended up driving a little further towards Bruno Sand Dunes and we had originally planned to make it all the way to the sand dunes, but time just kind of got away from us. So we ended up stopping here at Jack Creek. Um, it's actually along the Snake River. And we, the camp spots here are pretty um, rugged, which is fine. We're normally used to the free stuff anyways, the, uh, where there's just maybe a fire ring, maybe not. Uh, so anyways, we're just kind of at an end of a, a road here and uh, the dead, it dead ends right there. And so we just set up our camp right off the side here and the water's over there. That's the Snake River. Um, and so we were just kind of along here and everybody's kind of finishing packing up. But it's a, it's a pretty spot. It's kind of windy still right now. Um, so I'm using the, the Jeep here to kind of protect some of the wind from happening. but. We're our plan today, and uh, our plan never seems to work on any of the days so far of this trip. But our plan today is to not only stop by the Bruno Sand Dunes, check those out, uh, but then also make it to Ruby Mountains, and we're going to try to camp at Ruby Mountains. So we'll see how far we get today. Um, we'll see if we'll even make it there. Uh, but that's our goal. That's our goal today is to Ruby Mountains, Idaho. And then after that, I think we... Oh, wait a minute. Are the Ruby Mountains in Idaho or Nevada? Okay. All right, so I guess it's Ruby Mountains, Nevada. Okay, we're here at the Bruno Sand Dunes, actually at the dunes this time. You can see part of our group is up there on the hill about to enjoy sandboarding. So yeah, uh, we chose a smaller, less occupied dune. There are some bigger ones over there, way off in the distance, uh, pretty big. And then there's a massive one way back there and an even a taller one over there. So yeah, this is a... Uh, Apparently a pretty popular spot. Um, Dad, also known as Greg earlier, had mentioned that he used to come here as a kid and uh, he doesn't remember the lake, which back on the other side of these trees over there, there is a lake. Um, but he does remember the sand dunes. And so anyways, we are here to test this out, check it out, and uh, along with sandboarding. Okay, go. Let's see it. Back. I think it's because of the dunes. Oh, yep. Sand's fault. Totally. <laughs> Come on, Asha. You were here before. When we get back down... You're the weight, girl. Ew, can I take it? Yeah. Maybe it needs wax. Did they give you wax? Some guys, I've seen wax them. Oh, yeah. They all need wax. Okay, my turn. Daddy's turn. You already went down unsuccessfully like Zaylin. It's okay. It's my turn to unsuccessfully go down. Everybody gets an unsuccessful turn. Yeah, everybody gets an unsuccessful hill. There's look waxed.
Keep going. Yeah. Good job. Arms at 90s. Hold them 90s. There you go. Perfect. Just go. Keep going. Don't stop. Keep going. Good job, Jazz. Arms at 90s. Stand up straight. There you go. Good job. So often the distance was that lake. Um, I, it kind of seems to curve around and maybe have a little bit of a creek out that way based on the bush. But it's a, it's a decent size. I don't see anybody swimming in it. It's kind of greenish color, so I don't know if it's swampy. Uh, but yeah, these are the top of the dunes. There's uh, camping out over there and some more marshlands. That out there, that building way out there, that is the uh, uh, where you enter into the park and you purchase the $7 or whatever it is to come into this area uh, along with renting the sandboard. And I think there's uh, some camping over here hidden by the trees. But yeah, Bruno Sand Dunes. I don't know what's on the other side of those ones. That would be fun to explore, but I don't think we have the time right now. Definitely worth checking out though. All right, well, it looks like we are we are done for this one. And on to the next, supposedly Ruby Mountains, Nevada. Yeah, good job, Asta! Woo! <laughs> push it, Kaiser, push! Push! Oh, mush! 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 Yeah! Woo! You slid like seven feet. <laughs> Well, we, we, we made it into Nevada uh, by just a little while, um, and we have made it to the Wild Horse Dam. And so it's super high. I gotta show this. Um, it's just, it's right there, shooting out the water. <clears throat> the dam doesn't appear to be one that's kind of used for uh, electricity it looks more like it's uh, for uh, maybe flood control there it is on the other side so it's quite a quite a drop difference from one end to the other and then there's this kind of reservoir that backs up and we've been driving up this this valley uh, 
What's the what's the highway we're on? Okay. Uh, oh shit. Oh, Dad! Woo! Look at that! <laughs> <We're> a race <laughs> car! Uh, so, Highway 51 in Nevada? It's crazy! Hawaii River. Hawaii River. That's what we're following up. And uh, it's super beautiful country. Definitely got some good road footage. Uh, on this highway trying to work our way down towards U utah um, it's hard to describe there's so many cool things um, hopefully we'll catch some good stuff for you on the video for the driving footage so correction we're on highway 225 we turned off of 51 uh, but we are at an elevation of 6200 feet and just out the window on my wife's side uh, there's snow on the hills and we're towards the middle-ish end of july so it's kind of cold feeling outside uh, for this time of year um, but i think the elevation is is uh, making this um, feel a little, quite a bit colder but this reservoir uh, wild horse recreational area it's a pretty big water um, Re reservoir I'll show the mountains right before it gets lost all right so we have found our campsite for the evening uh, we decided to stay inside uh, an official campground this evening because it had a hot shower. Uh, so it's been a couple of days, so we, we figured we might as well get our shower in now. Uh, here is our particular campsite. Got our tent and our Jeep, and it even comes with a covered uh, table, picnic table. Um, there's not too many people here. Um, it's kind of spread out. Mom and Dad are on this site right back here. And Lakala and Asta are on that site right over there. This is called the Spring Creek Campground, and it's outside of Elko, uh, Nevada. And uh, so we're going to stay here tonight. Um, we had originally thought of driving all the way up into the Ruby Mountain uh, to kind of check out some stuff, but we decided, well, let's get our shower in now, and then we'll go and explore Ruby Mountain tomorrow. And then after that, uh, hopefully we'll be into Utah by that point. Uh, so anyways, let's find out what's for dinner and then uh, we'll, uh, we'll sign off for the evening. Let's see. So hun, what are you making for dinner? So we are having Cheetos mac and cheese with hot Italian sausage. So it's not your regular mac and cheese, it's the Cheeto flavor. We discovered it, the kids have been begging for it. They absolutely love it. They ask for it every single day. Of course, I'm not doing it every day because we'd be sick of it, but it's a good one, the kids like it. Cheeto well, mac and cheese, okay. Well, hot Italian sausage, that sounds good. I'm up for that. Um, mac and cheese with meat in it, all right. Zylan, you like mac and cheese? Yes, I love mac and cheese. Oh, uh, yeah. So let's go find out what Mikaela and Asta are having for dinner. Hi, Kaija. Hi. Did you like sandboarding? Yeah, it was fun. Yeah, you yeah. had fun? Would you do it again? Yeah, I would. Yeah? What about you, Aja? Definitely, it was cool. I did. It was, um, I it was did. It on the first run because it didn't. It wasn't much split sips, but still, it was pretty fun. I'd definitely do it again. Yeah. What are you? What are you? What are you doing there? Uh, just um taking off the outside of the corn for mom. Shucking some corn. Yeah. All right. I had lots so, Michaela, what are you making for dinner? I'm making tacos and corn. Ooh. Yeah. Tacos and corn. That sounds good. All right. Yeah. Let's see, you got your corn tortillas there. Yes. Yeah, we're trying to figure out the cooking situation. I'm not sure if this propane is working with this jet oil. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Because I turned both of them on and then now the, like, the pressure is down. Oh. And did you get to test this system out, like, the other night? The, um, we tested it 
this morning, and that's when cooking went really, really slow. Oh. So, no. And I don't know. I'm assuming you already probably checked the uh, the source. Um, yeah, we checked no? the regulator. I think so. The regulator's done now, yeah, but just that it doesn't. And I think it's pressurized enough for two. It's weird. Oh, it's weird. Not. So we're gonna test the. If you turn one stove piece off, does yeah. the other one go higher? And... Yeah. Now I hear it a little more. Oh, so maybe not enough pressure in there for two. Yeah. Interesting. You'd Which think there would be though. Makes it a little bit more inconvenient. So. Yeah. Anyway, we're working through the kinks, I guess. We're figuring it out. Well, we no have two and a half man. weeks. <laughs> <laughs> two and a half weeks, yeah, to figure out all these yeah. corks. Huh, interesting. So now, well. now that you know that, Nathan, don't buy a five. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know it, don't buy, buy the little one, huh? <laughs> the 13 pounder. Unless you're only going, look, that's a lot more pressure. Yeah, that's a lot more pressure. Oh my. Did this one get filled? Yes. Yeah. By the way, just a heads up, if anybody comes to the, um, the same yeah, route it's the that, pressure. It doesn't... The same route that we did from Nevada to Utah, then bring warm clothes because <laughs> you're going to need it. Yes, it's a lot colder than I was expecting. I was thinking Moab, heat, desert, 100 degrees. I was and too. And it's been cold for yeah. the first three days. Well, <laughs> Well, you might be you might be wishing for the uh, the rain and the cold weather after Moab starts killing it with the 110 degree wish, weather. Wish for a balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last ones to check out is mom and dad. See what they're making for dinner. They're getting they're getting things together. We might have to see what the idea is as opposed to the actual food. Okay, mom. I, st I don't see anything on the stove, so what, what's, what are you making for dinner? I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> you haven't figured it out yet? No, I'm going to look at my food grinder and decide what I feel like cooking. Maybe, um, I have some cut up peppers and stuff, so maybe I'm going to make fajitas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Kyla's making tacos tonight. Oh. I thought, well, I was going to make that last night, but I'm going to use some of the meat because I think it's starting to thaw out. <laughs> Gotcha. You know, and I've got those vegetables, so before they start to go bad, I think I'm going to um, make the hands. Actually, tacos <laughs> does sound like it's nice to... <laughs> I'll tell you a little later what I decided <laughs> to make. <laughs> Alright. Alright, sounds good. Okay. I like your table. That is... Yeah, I like how slick handy. that's working it's out. very handy. And, you know, I can slide it over to give me a little more elbow room there, but uh, yeah, it's working out really nice. And then I have this table if I need a bigger one. Oh yeah. So, so far I haven't really uh, needed to pull it out other than <laughs> mainly because it's too windy. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's not like the other night where it was crazy winds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, well let me know what you end up making. All right. See off into the distance there, some really pretty sky. The the sun is, is setting, well, sort of setting back that way. Um, but we're getting these rays coming in. You can see the periodic dark clouds uh, that was carrying rain. So every once in a while we were getting dosed in some, some wetness. But over there, these are the Ruby Mountains. And I... I don't know if one of them is just named Ruby Mountain or if all of them together are called the Ruby Mountains. Um, but uh, it's, it's a pretty high range. I guess one of the tallest peaks over there, which I don't know which one it is. It might be that further one that's out there kind of lit up a little bit. Or it could be this one that we can't see that's sticking through the clouds. Um, but they're both over 10,000 feet. Uh, so they're quite a ways up. In fact, uh, us right here in our particular camp spot is right around 5,400 feet, I think is what I saw. So, you know, it's, it's up here. Uh, I haven't been to Nevada before, but we definitely came into some really beautiful country. Uh, this has been 
a really good trip so far. And I do want to show that there is a lake and the lake itself um, was really pretty as well. And I guess there's, there's this particular campsite that we're on is called the east version of it. Oh, I guess the lake is a lot further away than I thought. Um, but there is a west version on the other side of the lake. And we chose the east side only because it's kind of in line with where we're uh, leaving tomorrow morning. All right, well, more to come on, on this trip. This kind of finishes out our day three. Um, we are behind as far as where we're supposed to be, but it's still good. Uh, it's still been a fun trip. All right, more to come.